In this video, I'm going to briefly talk about um, Monte Carlo simulation and how it can be used to estimate uh, pi. So here's a circle of radius r, and um, it's it's a well-known fact that the area of this circle is simply equal to pi times r squared. So if we take this same circle and put it in a square. And we inscribe it in the square so that the square has side length to r. Then the area of the circle is still pi r squared, and the area of the square is 4r squared. Um, so 2r times 2r. Now if we imagine that um, it starts raining, and this is a field, and, um, and if we assume that, that rain is pretty much uh, equally likely to fall anywhere in the square, then we get the probability that a raindrop um, lands in the circle is pi r squared divided by 4 r squared. So the area of the circle divided by the area of the field. And we can just cancel out the r squared and we get that 4 times the probability of a raindrop landing in the circle is equal to pi. Now this is where the Monte Carlo simulation comes in. Because we can use a computer to simulate the rain falling in our field. So we start off by initializing C and S, and C is just going to be the number of raindrops that land in um, the circle, and um, S is going to be the number of raindrops that land in the square, so all the raindrops. Um, and then what we do is we get the computer to select uh, two random numbers, so X and Y, in other words, the location of the point in our square. We increment S, so make S go up by one, and then we do a quick check. Is our raindrop inside the circle? So um, this is the equation of a circle centered at zero of radius r, and so we can just use that um, to check that we're in the circle. If we're in the circle, then we increment c. Otherwise, we just go and we keep on selecting a bunch of raindrops. And once we have enough raindrops, we just have a little check on s, we'll get that pi is approximately 4 times c over s. Now here is um, a bit of Python code that I've written to do this. Um, I'll put this up on GitHub, so and I'll put the link in the video description. Um, but basically, we create a random ra raindrop here, so we're picking the random uh, numbers, and we just offsetting it so that it's centered at zero. Um, this is a little function to check that we are indeed in uh, a raindrop is in the field. This function here just, just is to, to draw the nice pictures. And then this is actually where we where we um, make it rain. Um, and uh, we have all the various checks in uh, there, and then there are a few options to allow it to, to plot things nicely. And so now we're just going to take a look at, um, at this process over time. And so here we see the computer simulating the raindrops falling. So um, I've got the computer to output uh, the drops that fall in the circle in blue and the drops that uh, fall outside of the circle in black. And we see that pi is uh, is getting um, closer and closer. The estimated pi is getting closer and closer. And um, as the raindrops keep falling, you can you can really see the the circle starting to be inscribed. And so the estimated pi in the top right there is just at every point just taking that four times the ratio of the number of drops in the circle over the total number of drops. That was 5,000 drops. At 50,000 drops, we see a better estimate of pi. If we go up to 100,000 drops, our estimate gets a little bit better. But if we go all the way up to a million drops, then we do actually have pi exact to four decimal places. And if we take a look at the um, actual estimate of pi as a function of the number of raindrops we drop, um, we see that once we get to about 3,000 raindrops, we're pretty close. That black horizontal line is the actual value of um, pi. And in terms of simulation, once we get to a point like this, um, where the, the values aren't, don't seem too stochastic anymore, that's co what's called steady state. Now, if we wanted to pi to a higher level of precision, we'd probably have to draw a lot more raindrops. And in fact, this is a terribly inefficient way of getting pi. But it's a nice bit of fun with a computer. 